How's it guys? T minus two days to lockdown. Oh, I was playing games at the end of last night. I don't think I signed out. But um, so Sam let me sleep in. I was playing Call of Duty with Rob, my friend in Canada. I should make the bed. Let's do that before I leave. Ended up coming to bed at like 3 a.m. And now I've got a bit of a stiff neck. I think I slept funny. How are you guys doing? How's your lockdown going? If you guys are in lockdown, if you're not in lockdown, please appreciate it. Don't don't be don't be running around. I mean, we're not in lockdown either yet. But I'm, what I mean is, just appreciate that you can go outside if you'd like to. In terms of going into nature, going for a little walk, because I don't see any harm in that. I understand why we're in lockdown, of course. Don't be silly. But like a little walk on the mountain, you know, where you don't see any other people or you don't come near any other people, in my opinion, is a safe activity. Uh, it is 11 a.m. I have nowhere to be. So, <laughs> ain't much happening. Ain't much happening. And the lockdown hasn't even started. <sighs> Here we go. That's a made bed for today. I don't know where this other big grey pillow is. Morning. Finally awake. Now you finally awake. Oh no, it looks like something got into the butter that was in the freezer. <laughs> I think I found what got into our butter. Yeah? Yeah. Don't panic. Yeah? <laughs> Don't panic, it's on your computer. Yeah? <laughs> it's also T minus one day until we get baby blue. Yeah. I hope nothing on your screen was um, confidential. Would you like a tea? Sav just has a call meeting this morning. She's still working from home. So am I. <laughs> Green screen. That was fun. If you guys didn't see, I know I put it in yesterday's video and the day before, but while I figured while I'm at home, I might as well mess around with a little bit of green screen action. Cause I have it and I'd never set it up before, ever. I, I don't think I'd ever set it up before and I've had it for like four years. So I set it up and I created this. That was really nice. I just had a, a long call with Ben, Ben Brown. I had a few comments. I mean, I've addressed this many, many times, but many people don't realize because obviously we don't spend as much time together, but yes, Ben and I are still friends. So if you were wondering, now you know. The secret's out. Ben and I are still friends. <laughs> Cat's out the bag. But yeah, I was just having a little catch up for the breakdown of the breakdown before the lockdown. Um, I've got a vlog to edit now. I might have to leave the house today. I think not. Not because I want to, but um, to get some stuff. I'm potentially interested. One of Sav's friends messaged me about this the other day because I wanted to get a scoby and make some kombucha during the lockdown. But um, that's proving harder than initially first thought. So one of Sav's friends said I should try and make kefir water. So I'm going to look that up. And if I'm really interested, I might pop out and go get some of the ingredients for that. But Lunchtime. We are doing... Nice and simple. Oh, I'm gonna have these on. So Sav likes cheese tuna noodles. Um, and I like any flavor but cheese. I'm gonna try Woolies spicy curry flavored. I'm gonna be doing noodles two ways here. This is special quarantine content just for you guys. Noodles two ways. Um, let me know how you guys do your tuna noodles. And if it's different to either of these two ways. Sorry, the, the kitchen is a bit of a mess. If you watch yesterday's vlog, you'll see so I've left her washing up for a while. So I need to do the rest. But um, And this is from the chow mein mince. I don't even want to open this because that's probably going to smell. It's going to pong because that's made with cabbage and all sorts. The first way that we're doing noodles for Sav, she doesn't break the cake. And she uses half the flavor in the water and then saves half the flavor for afterwards. So, oh, you know what? I'll show you rather than tell you. Noodles, method one. Place the entire cake into the pot of boiling water and add half the sachet of the cheese flavoring. Then proceed to stir and cook the noodles for approximately two minutes. Remove the noodles from the heat and drain. Add the noodles to a vessel of your choice and top up with the leftover flavoring. 
Stir thoroughly and serve. Noodles method two, the right way to do noodles. Pre-crush your noodles. Bring the water to a boil, ignore any leftover noodle remnants from the wrong way to do noodles and add your noodles to the water. Don't forget to remove the flavor sachet. Actually follow the instructions and wait for the water to come to a boil before you add your noodles. Once the water is actually boiling, add the contents of the sachet. Give it a stir. Continue to stir until the sauce has reduced and the noodles are fully cooked. Remove from the heat and serve in your vessel of choice. Doesn't that look so much better? Nice sticky sauce, easy to eat, no slurping. Mm. All the slurping. What? That's all the slurping. What do you mean? Like... No, when you've got the long noodles, that's when you're going <laughs> and it's flicking up all over your school uniform. So there you go, guys. Two different ways to do noodles. There is a third way as well, where you could just like add all the stuff with all the water and leave everything in there. But that's the most boring way. The most soupy way, actually. It's not even the most boring. It's still, they all have their own merit. Do you guys have a special way that you do noodles in these interesting times? Prince Charles, times? get to the British throat. Test positive for coronavirus. Sam just found out Prince Charles has coronavirus. This is way more interesting. Do you guys have any specific way that you do your noodles Oh, this looks so good. I do also know of a method where you save a few noodles or you save a little bit of the cake and you crumble it on top so you got some extra crunch. You guys let me know how you do your noodles in the comments. If you wanna make a video about it, do that. Tag me, best video will win a prize. I'll show you what the prize is. I will send this to you guys. Prize is, boom, one pack of roast lamb. This is gourmet from uh, Woolies. That's the prize. Best video or best reply, I don't know. Quarantine content at its finest. Previously when I filmed it, I hadn't actually even stirred it up, so all the gloop was sitting at the bottom. Oh, look at that shiny, shiny noodles. Looks like I've poured butter over this. Mmm, you wanna, have you tried noodles my way? You have. You don't like it, yeah. Mmm, I hope you guys aren't hungry, sorry. My bad, you probably are by now. I've just finished the first pass of my vlog, yay. And now it is time to brave going out into the big bad world. We've got a whole bunch of stuff I'm gonna get, but I've got to collect a prize for my mom. Did I mention this already? I hate that I don't remember what I've said. It irritates the crapola out of me. Gotta go pick up this prize for my mom. Just pick up a couple extra things like bread, milk, uh, while I'm out there. Also, I'm gonna, I've decided in this 21 day lockdown period, I'm going to make my own scoby to make kombucha. Sav's friend told me, Water kefir or kefir water? Kefir. Thank you, kefir. But I'm not interested in that because I don't know what it tastes like and I don't, it, it, it seems more laborious than kombucha. Um, so I'm gonna just see if I can find the ingredients to make my own scoby. You just need some starter liquid, water, sugar, tea, and you just leave it for like four weeks in a dark place, which is exactly where I like to live. So not in a dark, it doesn't have to be dark. It just needs to not be in direct sunlight. It needs to be room temperature. So let's see if we can make some kombucha boys. It's raining. Look there, can you, actually it's not raining. It's drizzling, but it sounds like it's raining. I'm going to the waterfront and Sonia did also tell me that apparently it's very empty. She had to go uh, drop something off for work, I think, before the lockdown. Stay away from sneezes, those types of things. Coughers and sneezes, the worst. <coughs> okay, let's get going. I did not know there was a reader's warehouse here. Sonia, if you get around to watching these during the lockdown, because I know you've got the time. Now we know there's a Reader's Warehouse at the Lifestyle Center on Kloof, which is where I'm coming first stop because there's a pharmacy here, actually. That's good to know as well. Wow, so much I didn't know. And uh, Wellness Warehouse, this is where I'm coming to find out about scobies and stuff. Hello, thank Hello. you, thank you. I don't know if Wellness Warehouse has the best prices, but they sure as I'll have the best range. Um, I mean, look, it is stocked. So if you want to come get your healthy stuff, look, they've got milk kefir, yeah, or kefir, as I like to call them. Oh, check out almond nut milk. There's, they've got everything here. Yeah. Greek style goat's milk yogurt. Oh, check out water kefir. Huh. Well, that's exactly what Sam's friend was recommending. Milk kefir. No, 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 no. Oh, damn. Check this one out. Zuka kombucha on tap. I don't know if this will work as a starter liquid, though, because it's probably flavored. Yeah, flavored. Check here. Theonesta has 
SCOBY and Starter. How do they have a SCOBY? Oh, it's in the packet. Yo. But no, I just want the liquid. I want to make my own SCOBY, man. So, you guys might know, a while ago I bought a case of these. I smashed them. They were so good. But this one is the original flavor. And if you look at the ingredients, spring water, organic, unified sugar, robust tea leaves, organic black tea, kombucha culture. And this one does form little like scoby-like things within the within the kombucha itself. So this might be able to be used as a as a starter. I've done some research on the Google, and it looks like you can create your own scoby from raw kombucha, which just means kombucha. So there's no flavoring and stuff in it. And that rooibos one, I'm pretty confident there's no flavoring in it other than flavoring that's come from the rooibos tea. But I think that adds to the the kombucha itself because kombucha is made from tea, it's made from tea and sugar. So that's the sort of food that the scoby eats. So I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna buy, I think he's breaking the fridge. So I'm gonna buy a bottle of that raw kombucha, the, 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 the what's it called? And we'll go from there. We'll see, you can see there's already, where did he go? He's on the other side. There's a little guy in here. So this should do the job. Practice social distancing. One meter, one body length. In an elevator, I think I might struggle. Hit it with the elbow. Just saw an old couple. Come back to their car. Not an old couple, sorry, that's rude. Older, older than me couple. There we go, that's a whole window of ages. Just saw them come back to their car now. And obviously everyone's a little bit on edge with the lockdown happening tomorrow and people coming and doing their last minute shopping and whatnot. And <laughs> They unlocked their boot to put their shopping away and they hadn't turned off their car alarm. So it went off and they nearly shat themselves. Shame, it actually wasn't that funny. I need to find the Lint studio. There's a Clicks here that actually doesn't look too busy considering Clicks is one of the more popular pharmacies that we have in South Africa. So I might pop in and have a look here. There was something I needed, I can't remember what it was. This is crazy. Clicks staff, right? The pharmacists who are at the front line having to wear face masks made of cotton towel and elastic bands stapled together. That's wild in the pharmacy, man. Because I guess that's where all the sick people are going. So they need to take extra, extra precautions because people will be going there sick, not knowing that they've got coronavirus or, be, or knowing and just going to pick up meds and whatever. We're here in the silo district. They even, they wiped down like the card machine, which was nice because I've not seen anywhere else do that. And the card machine for me, is because my South African card doesn't have tap to pay. So I, it's just like, you, when you touch that thing, you're like, how many other people have touched this? I'm at the Lint store to pick up my mom's prize. I don't know what she did. I think she entered a competition through a newspaper or a website, which is a classic, classic mischuck thing to do. Our family loves to win prizes. I never realized the boats were so close. Like that, look, here's the Lint store. Boats right there. What are they even doing? Big necklace. Okay, mom, I've got your prize. Depending on how lockdown goes, <laughs> how desperate we get, you might find that you're either just getting Johnny Walker or you're just getting lint. Because it is a lint and Johnny Walker hamper. I think I said that already. Nah, I'll save it for you. Yeah, we've got at the waterfront, we've got um, inside the actual waterfront, they've got us help, us help stop the spread. That's nice, the little info board. I'm, wait, am I coming to Woolies? I think I am coming to Woolies. Yeah, I'm gonna pop into Woolies and then pick and pay. And then we should be done and we can go home. Oh, damn. The Woolies in, uh, in the waterfront has been ravaged of any fresh meats. That's wild, not what I was expecting. Yo. Woolies shop done. If I can just figure out how to get out of here, then I can go to pick and pay. That looks closed. What the? Never in my life have I seen this whole strip so empty. And I've been here on weekends, late at night, when I was a youngin. But this place is always packed. So when there's no one here, that's when you know. The waterfront is empty. Pick and pay, got the hot cross buns. Also, every Wednesday, 50% off sushi. Don't know when we're next gonna have sushi, so it might be worth just getting a little snack, you know? Woolies was empty, the pick and pay is fully stocked. I can't believe that. <laughs> Look at that, and all the, this whole meat section back here, also fully stocked. It's a very ominous feeling in the air. I think it's probably just the clouds and, the, and it's slowly getting darker, but uh, 
Now, there's something in the air and it's viral. It's so nice, all the greenery here in the rain. Mm, track. Still raining though, not ideal for me to unpack all my shopping. <laughs> I was uh, sitting on the couch having a cup of tea that Sav so lovingly made for me, thank you. And I was asked to put my feet down and someone came and got themselves real comfy and uttered the words, Get ready for lockdown, Benny. <laughs> I think we should take 21 days apart. <laughs> Ooh, where are you gonna go? I imagine. I'll go to my office. You lock down in your bed, in the bedroom. Cool. I'll lock Enjoy down in the office. Enjoy not seeing baby blue. What do you mean? Isn't, oh, hold on. I thought there's more room for him to roam in my office. I think he should stay in the office. I'll let you look at him through the door, <laughs> through the keyhole. <laughs> you can just pass lasagna sheets under the door, please. It's time for Sav's uh, nightly or eveningly, if you check the time, massage oh, administered by the only unqualified but should be qualified physio in Cape Town. The amount of hours I've actually put in. You actually are like very good. You really should be a physio. You have the strength and actually you really do know the pressure points. Do you really think I would want to spend my best years rubbing people down? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Mm. Maybe when I get older, when I hit my 50s, my 60s and people don't want to touch me as much, I can get away with touching them. And they pay me to do it. <laughs> Sav is making dinner. What are we having for dinner tonight? Um, pad thai. Chicken pad thai. Nice. I'm looking forward to it. Sav makes a killer pad thai. Those look tough. So upon learning that our spring onions were in fact lemongrass, what, how did you adapt the recipe? Um, still looks kind of the same. Looks good. Well, I didn't do any egg. Ah, which yes. It usually has. Yes. And then I just kind of added more veggies. Um, okay, so it's a chicken stir fry then. Kind of. Yeah, it smells good. I'm looking forward to it. Mmm. Mmm. I already got halfway through my bowl before I even thought to start filming. This is delicious. Thank you. Mmm. 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 Mm. I thought it was. I'll be honest. I thought it was going to turn into a bit of a panic pot because you weren't seeming very optimistic at the beginning when you found out that the lemongrass was lemongrass. Yeah, but spring onion is so essential. That's what I'm saying. It's just a stir fry. It's a pad thai flavored stir fry. <laughs> there you go. Hold on. There we go. That's that's the extra mm, umami that I was looking for. What did you say? There's also fish sauce, which is, gives it the... Mm, sauce. When you put in fish sauce, it smells... Like urinating on a fire. It's so bad, but it tastes so damn good. Mm. It's because of umami. Okay, that's it for me, guys. Um, I'm just signing out in the bathroom because it is currently half past 12. I was just playing some games with Rob, my mate from Canada, and uh, bedtime now. But that's it for T minus two days till lockdown. Yeah, should have everything sort of sorted under control. And tomorrow we go pick up. So I'm just looking at myself in the mirror here. My hair is wild. Too bad I won't be able to go get a haircut. I don't mind. But yeah, tomorrow we're going to go pick up Baby Blue, little kitten. If you guys didn't watch that vlog, you can go see. There's a whole bunch of footage from when we met him. So if you're anxiously awaiting tomorrow's vlog where we go fetch him, you can go watch that one if you haven't seen it already. I'll check you guys then for another slice of mat.